Leave it. Leave it. Good. Good. It's just reaction, okay? So he's just, oh, there, there's a, ooh, but there's a, what do I? And then if I, hey, 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 let's go. He comes, yeah, good boy. Yeah, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I want you to do. Um, and then what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna give the leash over. Your habits and your relationship with them is going to contradict everything I told you what to do and what not to do. That's normal. So I'm gonna say, don't do this, you're going to do it. It's just what everyone does. And I'm just gonna walk you through the process of like, hey, do this and not this. And I'm going, and I talk a lot and I educate a lot because I, I don't need to train this dog. Cool. That's what I'm gonna go through right now, okay? Perfect. Thank you. So heel, left side, loose leash. Heel is a command, the micro of it is, is yeah, your dog's walking nice. The macro, the bigger picture is, is your dog is engaged in following your every movement of what you do. And that's what you want, because if they're not doing that, then what are they doing? Constantly, they're dogs, they're animals, they're predatorial, they're apex, apex predator, predator compared to all the other townhouse pugs, right? So you have to make sure you're really on top of like, hey, we're going this way, nope, we're going that way. Don't let him get into a, any type of cycle that he can hyper-focus. Okay, so heel, good heel, heel. So um, he's gonna continue to keep switching sides and I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's a nervous Nelly trying to make the right decision, so I'm not gonna be too hard on him. If he switches over here, I'm gonna wait a couple seconds to see if he switches over, yay, good boy, okay? Heel, good, good heel. Can I have about that? I was trained on the left side to be a, the traditional dog training yeah. side mainly because you are right-handed, which means, which means, in theory, your right hand should be for you living your life, okay. right? Yeah. So, but again, if you're having a lot of trouble and you think it's safer with your stronger arm, use it, okay. it's no problem. And that's the thing with me, you'll start to notice. If the other trainers that you worked with, they're gonna say, this is exactly what you have to do, and if you don't, you're in trouble. With me, I'm like, do what makes sense for you to keep you safe and to keep you comfortable, okay? So if you want to train on the right, do it. But Try in here, yeah. try on the left, okay. okay? So when he's in this heel, I'm simply gonna say good heel, and I'm gonna mark it. So good means yay, and then good what? Heel, okay, good. Okay, so now we're starting to mark this behavior. It's a very um, classical conditioning type thing. Good heel, good, annoyingly, good heel. It's like kids when they're learning how to potty, good potty, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> similar. <laughs> okay, I'm using my left leg to turn. I'm making a, a rectangle. I'm using my left leg when I turn, Heel, good. Good heel, buddy. So I'm reinforcing the heel command with my verbal marker of good heel. So it's a reinforcer. It's positive reinforcement over the desired behavior, okay? Sam, sit. Good sit. Well done. Sam, heel. And you'll notice his anxiety as I'm working him decreases, minimalizes, because he's got a job. So you talked about him being a potential police canine and all that stuff. What that really means is, is his genetics is probably like a working dog. He's gotta have a job. We have probably 17 of them in the facility right now. And if they're running around in daycare, they're happy, He'll, as long as they have something to do. But if you don't give them structure, guidance, a job, leadership, taking the steering wheel, they will lose their minds, become super protective, super anxious, super stressed, and then you have a Tasmanian devil at the end of the leash for that reason. Is that just him developing his own job? Um, sit. Yes, God. Sure. Um, he's, he's got all that energy and he's parking it somewhere else. So he's compartmentalizing it in, into a different location that should actually be okay. going somewhere else. So he's supposed to be out working, playing tug. Yes, yes, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? He's got all those genetics. But what you're doing is you're just sticking him inside. He comes out and he loses his mind because he's got, so it, 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 it self-perpetuates too because you don't want to walk him because he loses it, but you can't keep him at home because he's going to build. So it's a process. A lot of people deal with this type of stuff, not just with German Shepherds. I, I had a, okay, break. Good. I had a, uh, uh, a whole family came in and the dog was nipping people and biting people. And I'm not kidding you. They said, 
we Googled the smartest breed on the internet and we bought it, which was a Border Collie. And they got this high prey drive Border Collie that probably would have literally herded thousands of livestock a day for a job. You know, like went around, ate a squirrel and went to bed. That's what the dog's life. And they stuck it in a crate with like five or six kids and are wondering, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking for me because the dog is like so confused. Well, it's also exercise too. Yeah. So it's like us, like we can eat crappy, that's not, the Americans don't realize that you can go out and eat crappy food, but you can't do it every day and you have to exercise. Right. Like it's, you, you can go out and do that stuff, but you have to balance it out. Yeah. So if, if he's eating less, he still has to exercise because he's still got the excess fat. I would just be feeding, I would, I would be, I would be feeding him, if you're gonna treat him blueberries, strawberries, Carrots. Yeah, so just feed them like stuff like that because that's what we do as humans, right? Our, our beloved dog comes up to us and looks at us like when we're sitting there, we go, oh, you're hungry or you want a treat. We don't know what else to do. They would much rather a walk, but you're not there yet, so we'll get there. I'm gonna do this one more time, okay? So heel, sit, break. Break is de deactivation, do whatever you want. Break, make it really fun. The dog works for that, okay? Ready, big man, heel. Sit, yes, good sit. So I want you to notice, when using, so you came in on the harness, what a disaster that is. And that was good compared to Right, the but you see the difference, right? right. In the prong. We see a big difference. I have maybe corrected him less than five times, maybe even two, I'm not sure, but definitely not a lot. Because I told him, hey, yeah. what are you doing? Stop, and he goes, oh, okay. Thank you, because he's not in the right state of mind to make these decisions. Yeah, right. So, um, I want you to notice a couple things. You have to be very conscious. So, so what some people will do, here's the e-collar, hit it when the dog's bad. Here's the prong collar, hit it when the dog's bad. But what you have to understand more about the tool is that is, you get a dog like this, they are trying to learn. So don't take your nervous or, or anxious behavior and sit there and have a conversation. Wham, 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 wham. People do it all the time. You guys will probably do it. Is you, you don't realize that every time you, you pop this, you're telling the dog bad. Bad. Yeah. Everyone. No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying is like, I, I'm normally, I normally just say this stuff so you don't feel as bad in the future. Cause I'm going to, I'm telling you, you're going to do it, but just be conscious that every time you do any of this, you're telling the dog, mm -mm, and then they're going to be very confused. And that's why a lot of people don't like prong cars because it doesn't work. And then they make excuses and say, that thing doesn't work. It's garbage. They shelf it. So notice that when I'm handling him, he's 127 pounds, right? So when I ask him to do something, I'm going to ask him to do the behavior. If he does it, I'm going to say good, whatever it was. If he doesn't, I'm going to give him a verbal correction with ah, ah or like no sit and then followed with the reinforcer of the punishment. Okay. So I'm going to do that one more time for you. Okay. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. Good, so no pressure, no corrections, nothing, no aversives, right? Ah, sit. Good, sit. Okay, break. Good. You follow? Who wants to go first? Let's try to, so see how he's anxious? Good. Heel. So tell him good heel. Good. Good. Good, so there. So you, you corrected at the same time. So don't do that. Ask. Yes. You, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's okay. It, every, I'm te that's why I say it. You're going to do it. It's, it's just, so the, the more you leave this slacked, the better. Okay. Because you're telling him, hey, good job. Good. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to, to, to pay attention to what you're doing. Because if you're both looking at each other, then who's driving? Right. He's going to take the wheel. So well, I look ahead, trust him. Yeah, so here's what I want you to do, okay? okay? Really quick. I want you to walk over there with the leash. Walk up here? Yep. Good. Now come, come back towards me. See, I want you to do that with him. Yeah. You walked away like you were the queen of the world. <laughs> But when you're with him, you're both looking at each other like, what the heck's going on? Well, I am the princess of quite a lot. So. Well, there you go. <laughs> then, then act like it with him. Now slow down a little bit. Take your time. Good. Good. 
Good. And then back, back into a heel. So I would be... Good. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing good. You can choke up on your leash a little bit. Good. Down. There. Okay. Come back this way. Nice. Come this way. Try not to get so close over here because that's like a, just work in this little area. Good. Have that leash nice and relaxed as much as you possibly can. And then cut that way. Don't come over here. Use your body. There you go. There you go. Nice and relaxed on that hand. Try to put your elbow all the way down. I know it's a habit. Good. Come back to me. Come back to me. Good. Straight to me. Just walk right to me. Good. Stop. Put him in a sit. Ah, see, you corrected him. I know, I know. Habit. You're gonna. Have to work. So, let me show you really quick. Okay. okay, break. Let me show you really quick. So, when you're walking, good heel. If you, if you, because he's not so like, he's not like, he doesn't do this a lot, so he's not sure exactly. But in the process, try to give him the benefit of the doubt where you, you just were a little bit too corrective. You meant well, you wanted him to stop. But what you can do is put on the brakes just a little bit. Uh, and then let you him just, do it. yeah. Let him do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just. So I'm sitting him, not him sitting. Right. So heel. Okay. Good. And then even a verbal. Ah 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 ah. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. Good. Good. <laughs> just reaction. Okay. So he's just. <sighs> oh, there. Yeah. There's a, ooh, but there's a, what do I? And then if I, hey, 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 let's go. He comes, yeah, good boy. So the intentions, when he came over here was, hey, rah, rah, right? But then if I go back this way, he's gonna follow me. Good. It's all just, hey, I'm here too. I'm here. So you, ah, leave it, leave it. Good. So you just gotta, yeah, decompress that. And he's such a big dog, you can't, you can't hurt him. So you gotta correct him, like you gotta be, bam! Cause he's like, yeah. me, yeah you buddy. Like he's so big, he's so powerful and he has so much fur that I didn't really correct him. I let it play out. Cause if you watched him, he would, woo, 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 and he backed up. So what you would see if he was actually aggressive is, but in these circumstances, he's not really going to. So what I did is I let it play out. And then I said, all right, now I'm going to see how he accepts the correction. Okay. I said, leave it. And he goes, nope, correction. Sorry. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. So you have your cake and eat it too there, but you have to, you have to, shh. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to um, just, this is Remus. He, yeah, he, deal, he deals with this all the time. He's awesome. Good. Good man. Good. So I'm going to work him just for one second. I want you to hang out. I want you to hang out. But I'm going to decompress this a little bit because... Ah, 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 ah. Let's go. Kill. God. Ah. Good. So I'm going to do a tune-up. So I'm going to walk towards him. At this time, okay, he goes 0 to 10 really quick. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to cram that down into about a six and then in the future to a four and then a two and then a one but right now it's not going to be so i'm going to help him decompress that and just be desensitized to yes there's another dog that's bigger than you in the room and it's okay <laughs>